Oh, morning guys. Uh, this morning we got a unit in. Uh, we checked it a week ago, something like that, give or take. And uh, we found that the dozer, uh, not the actual nozzle, but the actual injector for the dozer control the is not working. So we went ahead and ordered the part and got it in. And uh, we're going to go ahead and replace it on this unit. This is a uh, Max Force 910. So let me show you. This here is a part in question. Uh, this is the one we're going to replace. And as you can see, the injector is right there. Pressure, metering valve, so on and so forth. So this is a metering block. And from here, fuel comes into it. And then this is the one that is connected to the injector nozzle on the exhaust. So whenever regen goes in, into play, this injector starts pumping fuel through this line and it goes into your exhaust. Uh, there's a nozzle at the end that'll actually create a spray pattern similar to the injector to make it function properly so let me go ahead and get this in replaced for this one i do have to remove the doghouse so that i can get access to the back of the engine because it's bolted on the valve cover towards the back of the engine on the driver's side so let me get the sucker out of the way so i can go ahead and replace show you where it's at and replace it Well guys, uh, this here is a dozer injector. This is the one we, we're going to replace. After we replace it, of course, I do have to go in and run a couple of regens, check the injector, make sure it is firing, and uh, then we can go ahead and give it back to the driver. But on this video, all we're going to do is remove and replace this meter and block here with uh, the injector and pressure switch and all that all on this little block here so let me go ahead and disconnect these connectors they have a little locking little tab oh, i try not to break them dude because but they are a pain in the butt a little red tab uh, you push it up this one's been on there for a while then you depress the little tab here and that'll allow you to take that connector off this one is flipped there we go and like i said these are stubborn guys i use a wrench to press a tab there you go one more to go I was going to try and get it through the outside but then I wasn't going to be able to give you guys a clear view of what I'm doing so that's the reason why I removed the doghouse and it's a lot easier all right thirteen millimeter wrench there's one two there's three you gotta loosen those and we gotta loosen these two nuts here so let me go ahead and get it in time frame I don't want to make this time lapse because I don't want to make this video too too long so well guys let's go ahead and take that 18 millimeter wrench and remove loosen up the supply line and the injector line 
off of the block. There's a couple of little fittings that we have to transfer over from the old pump to the new one. So that one's off. Now we got to get this one. Hope you guys are getting a decent little view there, but they're in a tight little spot, guys. So. Too. Oh, you see feels coming out. It's gonna be very little, so it ain't gonna hurt anything. Uh. Uh. Oh. There you go, guys. Get you a better view of that. Uh. All right. So this is a new block. Remove these little covers. These are the two fittings we got to replace, remove and install them on the new block. Uh, where's the 16? Uh, no. Oh, shoot. There we go. Now we gotta get this little hose off. I hope the driver doesn't mind, but he's gonna have a funky little diesel smell for a bit. But it is what it is, guys. Now we gotta get the other little fitting off so we can go ahead and install it on the new block. And the reason I hit it with a wrench guys is vibration makes it a little bit easier for you to loosen the little nuts I didn't want to go out to the vise and get it done out there so I guess I was being a little lazy but it works vibration loosens things up and there we go and let me just tighten it up a bit Put this back on. Hello guys. Ready to go back on. So let me get the camera set up again. So we can install this back in place. It's just reverse. You just install it in the reverse of what you well, guys, we got this one put back together so let's go ahead and put it back in all right that's one it's in I like getting this hose on first. It's the one that gives me more trouble, just a little bit more trouble. So get the hardest one done first. And this end. Two. And 
install our three nuts. three time these suckers up Get all your connectors back in place. Lock them up. And then tighten these suckers up. There you go. We got our little metering block with the injector for that dozer. This will allow us to run regions on this. Hey guys, uh, sorry about the noise, but I'm going to go ahead and run a uh, region on this one. Make sure that that injector functions properly before I close everything up. I still have it open, so sorry about the noise, but I have to run the engine so the temperature hits 150 degrees to be able to run that test. So let me go ahead and get this done. Well guys, uh, on this particular unit, uh, we got the regen to activate, got the, temp uh, got the temperatures to go up to 950, 960 degrees. Uh, we dropped the slit levels from 3.3, uh, which was uh, severe. We got it down to 38%. So, I mean, that's a lot better than what it was. We are still getting a fault with injector one. I'm gonna let the driver take it, see how it does the next two, three days. If the fault continues to come out, We'll go ahead and replace that injector number one. Well, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put that doghouse back in place and call this one done, guys. So let me get that doghouse in. Well guys, that's going to be it for this one. We got the doghouse back on and uh, we're going to go ahead and send this bus out on route. Hope, hope it does well and well, hopefully it doesn't come back for that injector issue. Hopefully it clears itself up. Alright guys, that's going to be it for now. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.